Hi, I'm Doug Hoagland, pastor of Woodside Church in Yardley, Pennsylvania, and I want to share with you some frequently asked questions about the church has left the building. People ask, what if my leadership board insists we have morning services? Well, here are a few options for you. You can have a brief prayer and commissioning service right before you send people out to serve. You can hold a brief service and then send them out. You could still have a service if people insist, uh, but make that service as early as possible so there's still time to do the mission projects. Above all, remind the people to return for the evening service after they have done their mission projects. What if we already have something on October 26th, the day you recommend? Well, please choose whatever day works for you. We do find that if there are other congregations in your community that are doing this as well, it would be good for you to work with them on a day so you can worship together in the evening. What if my church is too small or too big? We find that size doesn't matter. You can choose projects proportionate to the size of your church. So if you have a large church, choose more projects. A smaller church, just do a few. If you feel you're too small to do too many projects, partner with another church and do them together. How will we find the projects? We encourage you to ask members of your church already involved in community groups to head up the projects. They already have the connection with that project. Then pick projects that match the interest and skill level of your people. So, for example, have projects that are good for seniors, families, small children, youth. What about visitors on that Sunday? Well, we do hope visitors will come to your church on that Sunday, and so we encourage you to be ready for them with information about what you are doing. And then we always had a few projects in the building to invite people to join, and we often saw that happen when new people came. What about the offering? Well, you can prepare your people to bring an offering that morning and drop it off before they serve, or they can give it at the evening service. We do find that many people will give the offering they were going to give that day on another Sunday. So we encourage you not to be worried about it. What if you say, I'm overwhelmed by all the parts of the program? Do I have to do all of it? The more parts you do, the more people will be involved because you are preparing them in multiple ways. But we want you to know it is okay if you don't do it all. Try some things, and then maybe the next year you can add some more things. We're here to coach you and help you get started in all the parts of this outreach. Who else is doing this? Churches from different denominations are coming together to leave their buildings and serve. That's why I feel this is a work of the Holy Spirit who is breaking down the walls and bringing us together. So we encourage you to invite other churches to join us as well. What opposition will I face? Each church has a different process for getting official approval. So you really want to work through that process. Start with your staff, your board, and then if they're uh, with it, expand the circle to involve other people, such as youth leaders or maybe Sunday school teachers, worship leaders. Keep expanding that circle until everybody in the church knows what's going on. It's crucial to build the momentum through the five weeks before you leave the building. And if you work through the process and get everybody involved and informed, what you'll find is that people who maybe were opponents before become advocates as you approach the day you leave the building. We're going to provide you with resources which are free of charge. They're on our website in Word and PDF formats. We'll give you preaching topics and sermon outlines, worship and music suggestions, There'll be a small group study guide for you to use. There'll be promotions, logos, things you can put in your bulletin, and ways you can put this on your website. We'll provide you with the daily devotional from the Gospel of John, and there'll be leaders' handouts and PowerPoints so you can share all this information with people in your congregation. We're also going to create a Dropbox called Love the World, a folder where you can place mission ideas of what you're doing so that others can see that, and if they're near your community, they can join you in those projects. There will also be more video talks on our website, like this one, Ideas for Worship, What You Should Be Doing This Month, 
suggestions for starting and leading small groups, and ways you can organize your mission projects and mission leaders. So here are some next steps. We strongly encourage you to pray for this all the way through. Then talk with your board and your staff and get their support. Commit to doing Love the World, The Church Has Left the Building 2014. You want to choose an overall leader for this outreach who can work with the pastor and then choose a leader for each of the three circles, love God, grow in grace, and share with others. There'll be a great team that will oversee the whole church's participation. And you want to contact leaders for mission projects now so that you can get them on board during the summer and put those names in the bulletin in the fall so that people can sign up for them and participate. For more information, go to our website at woodside-church.org, or you can email me questions, doug at woodside-church.org. We hope you'll join us for Love the World, The Church Has Left the Building 2014.